This is the story of Spendius, the survivor. He has traveled far and worked at many trades. His fate took a turn for the worse on the day he was captured by the Carthaginians and was enslaved in their great city. Superb are the temples that rise at the heart of the city in the sacred precinct. Salambo, the grand priestess of Tanith, is resplendently beautiful. But Spendius is far from being in a position to appreciate Carthage's splendor. He works until exhausted, whipped by guards on the lookout for the slightest indication that he is slacking off. Seemingly forgotten in a secret dungeon, Spendius curses his fate. He would do anything to gain his freedom. Be careful. The sacred precinct is crawling with soldiers. 
If you are caught, you will be crucified. There is no pardon for escaped slaves. Don't lie. The chains around your wrists clearly tell me who you are. I am Salambo, daughter of Hamilcar and Grand Priestess of Tannin. The goddess has visited my dreams. She told me to come to this place, and so, if I meet you here now, it is because she has chosen you to be my messenger. Obey me in all things, and I will help you escape Carthage. An army of mercenaries is camped outside the city. The most important of their chiefs is named Matho. He gained glory while fighting Rome on behalf of Carthage. I noticed him during a banquet. Our eyes crossed, and I haven't been able to forget him. I love him. Go find him and tell him all of this. Tell him to ask my father for my hand in marriage. To prove my love for him, You'll give him a statuette in my image. You're suspicious. Ask your questions and I'll answer them. If I love him, he must feel the same. The goddess would not want it otherwise. Am I not her adopted daughter? Have I not honored her every day of my life? How could she allow me to love, unrequited? A Grand Priestess of Tanith cannot leave her temple, nor set aside the rites. I have strict rules to follow. There is no love lost between us. My father is a man of power who would like to handle my marriage as he makes alliances. Talking to him about my preferences would only irritate him. No, Matho is the one who must speak to him. He is powerful, respected, and my father will listen to him. The priestesses, my followers, would gladly render me such a service. But they talk too much and the entire city would learn of my secret in no time. How do you expect to leave the city without my help? And once you've gotten past the ramparts, then what do you plan to do? Set off alone in the desert? The slave hunters would find you for sure. No. You will need Matho's help to find shelter and protection. Have you noticed the carriage and mounts in the yard? A convoy is preparing to leave Carthage. It's the escort of Hanan, the treasurer who will soon be leaving to go pay the mercenaries. Hide yourself in the bags, and you can leave the city without being detected. Quickly, may Tanith guide you. Following Salambo's advice, the fugitive hides in Hanan the treasurer's bags. This ruse makes it possible to leave the sacred precinct and then the city without being stopped. Hanan and his escort are on their way to pay mercenaries that are camped outside of the ramparts. These men served Carthage during a lengthy war with Rome that was eventually lost. They are impatiently waiting to receive the money that is still owed them. After a short walk, Hanan stops in front of the mercenary camp. The treasurer lectures the men while his interpreter translates for those who do not understand Carthaginian. Hanan orders the Gallic mercenaries to present themselves first, to receive what is due them. The others will then follow in turn. During this speech, Spendius leaves his hiding place. Hindered by the chains around his hands, he unfortunately drops the statuette he was to give to Matho. How will the mercenary chief react when he receives his gift, broken in pieces? A distressing question, for Spendius needs Matho's protection, 
If he is to escape the Carthaginians, who will be looking for him?